this is Rama Screen at the Men of Science Fiction launch party with the man of the hour, Dennis Illick. How are you doing? Good, Rama. How are you doing? Thank you for coming along. Yes, and thank you for having me. How does it feel now being celebrated this evening? It's pretty wild. You know, we um, when uh, we first started this book uh, two years ago, I had no idea we'd be launching it in you know my own art gallery in Hollywood. You know, it's. Uh, I thought I'd be throwing a party in my lounge room in West Hollywood, you know, but um, it's it's really exciting to be here in this beautiful space and um, a lot of the photography on the wall reflects the work in the book as well and uh, it's, uh, the book has been eight years, uh, two years in the making, but the photographs go back eight years to my very first experiences in science fiction photography on Battlestar Galactica, so it's, it's a real honour for me to do that for the actors, you know, so it's, it's great. Yeah. And I just spoke with TJ, your business partner. This place looks fantastic, cinematic pictures, yeah. How does it feel now having this awesome, awesome gallery? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's I, I'm still sort of, you know, um, trying to, yeah, it's hard to believe it's true. Uh, we're at, like, there isn't any more ground zero in the world of filmmaking in Hollywood than we are right now. We're sandwiched in between where the Oscars are and Grumman's Chinese Theater, and it's like they're on either side of us, and we have this beautiful four and a half thousand square foot space um, and giant photographs of our work. We're both really proud to be here, and we just want to build up something special, and that goes back to old school Hollywood, you know, like it used to be, you know, that bit of that Studio 54 vibe in uh, in a very touristy area, you know, and try to bring back a bit of that, you know, beauty from the old days, you know. Now, here's a fun question for my viewers at home. Uh, I know you're a fan of Battlestar Galactica, and you used to binge watch uh, Spartacus, you told me that. So what is on your TV list right now? Uh, currently on my TV list, uh, I recently discovered Legion, which is this, uh, you know, it's not on, uh, you know, any of the main networks or anything. I think it's FX that it's on. Holy cow, that show is awesome. I really, you know, that first episode, you have no idea what's going on and you're captivated like when you don't know what's going on on a show it's kind of like you go okay i'm I, i'm bored but it's so good so uh i'm watching legion I, I i have i'm a bit of a closet cw fan so i kind of like uh legends of tomorrow and supergirl the flash and all that sort of stuff um but uh you know netflix have got so many great shows and science fiction shows on um but uh, the one that you know it, it's kind of and it, it harks back to that old school thing you know it's um it's kind of like uh um, you know, the, the X-Men prequel, you know, it has that sort of 60s, 70s vibe to it, Austin Powers kind of feel, uh, quirky as hell, you know, so it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful show, really enjoying that. Last question, uh, how, how's the process going with the volume two, the, the women of science fiction? Women of sci-fi, uh, where it's coming along, where we've got about 70% of the sh shots already done for it. There are a few key people that I'm desperately trying to get, uh, and uh, it's just a matter of lining up the time, you know, uh, obviously, for me, I want to bookend it with um, Men of Sci-Fi. That Edward James Olmos is kind of the the grandfather of this book, or you know the you know he's he's like the icon of the book uh, for me because it goes back to that what opened the floodgates with this with this book was Battlestar. So Women of Sci-Fi for me, you know, I want to do a uh, shoot with Mary McDonnell, which we're organising. She's a stunning uh, actress, and uh, so I want to bookend Mary and and Eddie in the book. And then there are, there are people like uh, gorgeous actors that I grew up huge fans of, like Jerry Ryan and Nana Visitor and Terry uh, Terry Farrell, all those guys. So it, this one I'm going to try to make quite Star Trek friendly. Men of Sci-Fi is super Battlestar Galactic heavy. Uh, I want to make the women of Sci-Fi Star Trek friendly because or heavy because that's what I grew up with. That's where it all started for me was 1960 Star Trek. So yeah, we're getting there. We'll be we'll probably be launching the Kickstarter for Women of Sci-Fi later this year. So, yeah. Well, thank you, sir. Congratulations again. Thank you, man. Thank you.